All right, what's going on guys? My name is Omega and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we have a couple things to go over, including the new update that just dropped in Apex today. We're also gonna be talking about some big news coming from EA in which they actually kind of did something good. I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on that. And then finally, we're gonna end the video with some news from China on their enforcement of video game play for minors. And while this has nothing really to do with Apex, I thought it was a super interesting you know, topic. So I'm gonna be talking about that towards the end. So to start off, we have a tweet from Respawn going over the new update that Apex got today. They fixed three issues, one of those being uh, the issue where knocked players were sometimes being able to jump and I guess hop around. And honestly, it's kind of crazy that that issue was even in the game in the first place. They also fixed an issue with Steam players where there is this no price found bug when you were trying to purchase the Bangalore edition and also miscellaneous stability fixes. And they didn't really go into any detail on what those stability issues were that they actually fixed. Looking on the Apex Legends Trello board, which is basically like a public forum where Respawn posts all of the bugs that they're investigating as well as the bugs that they resolved. There's only a couple things here in the investigating tab, including Xbox One users encountering freezes inconsistently during gameplay, uh, something with the Switch, as well as reports of an increase in CPU load after the 9.1 patch, and Octane in the air is sometimes missing sound. So I'm not sure how often th this gets actually updated. I saw like the most recent addition that they made was about four or five days ago. So I'm not 100% sure if they're going to add whatever miscellaneous stability fixes into the trail board but i'll leave a link to this down below in case you guys are watching this in the future and you might want to go and look back and see if anything has actually been added here now next up we have some news coming from respawn hideouts who's basically like apex security for respawn he handles basically all of the banning that goes on in this game and deals with a lot of like the cheaters in apex legends so he made a tweet saying our two new hires for security have been unleashed and are now banning this includes the Japan counterpart. They grew up so fast. So it looks like that Apex is now going to have, you know, a lot more people actually handling bans in this game. And I'm not 100% sure if Hideouts was just doing this on his own or if he had like a small team with him. But the fact that two more people are going to be, you know, banning cheaters is definitely a good thing. But this is something that we're probably not going to notice right away. You know, we might have to wait a month or two to see if these two new hires, you know, really did anything or if this is just something that is going to take a lot longer and a lot more manpower in order to occur. Accomplished. Now, next up, we're going to talk about something very interesting regarding EA, and they did something that I don't think I've seen any other game company do in the past. I don't know if EA is just trying to like reestablish their image or maybe change the public's perception about them, and you know, because EA has always been kind of known as like a scummy company, but what they did was actually kind of cool, and we'll go into that right now. So, basically, the news that happened about a week ago is that EA is sharing four of its patented technology to the world, specifically other game studios, absolutely absolutely for free. So if you don't know what a patent is, it's basically something that legally protects your idea or invention from being stolen or used by other people. Now, these patents that EA is now sharing with the public are various things that their developers have invented in order to make their games more accessible to people with disabilities. Now, this includes people with vision, hearing, speaking, or cognitive issues. One of those five patents that EA is now letting other game developers use for free includes the ping system in Apex Legends. Now, Obviously, one of the main reasons the ping system was added into the game was to help players communicate with each other non-verbally, which would obviously be very helpful to someone who either has like a speech impediment or someone who might get bullied online for how they sound or talk. The other two patents they're releasing is basically technology that helps people who are visually impaired, which I'm guessing is something that specifically helps with people who have like partial color blindness. And the last patent they're making available to the public is something called personalized real-time audio generation based on a user physiological response, which at first I had no idea what that meant, but apparently according to this article that I'm reading, it covers technology that plays personalized music based on a user's hearing issues. And apparently this hasn't actually been developed by EA, but when this technology is fully ready, they're basically just going to share it with the entire world. Now, what's really interesting about this is that normally companies let other companies use their specific technology, but there's always like some kind of fee involved. The other company has to pay them for the rights to actually to be able to use this technology but according to EA they're basically just giving this out to any game studio or any game developer absolutely for free with no repercussions they even promised that they weren't going to sue anyone who used these patents which is kind of interesting that they said that I mean obviously that's probably one 
of like the first worries other game studios would have is like what if EA just changed their mind and decided to sue us and I don't know if them just saying that they're not gonna sue anyone is like legally set in stone they could always change their mind in the future and just be like no can't use this anymore we're just gonna sue you and get the rights back to everything that we originally promised was going to be free but obviously that would just create huge backlash for EA so I don't see them actually doing that now according to EA's vice president of marketing there were two main reasons that they're actually doing this in the first place the first one like I mentioned before was to help other game companies create games that are more easily accessible to people with disabilities obviously I think that's a great idea because this kind of technology is something that would really benefit a lot of different people and it's something Something that every video game out there should have so I definitely understand why they're doing it in that context and the second reason was they're doing this in the hopes that other game companies will do something similar in which they will freely share some of their own patented technology with the world as well so I guess that's kind of where like EA might benefit from this in the future you know by them giving out all of this technology and telling people how it works how it's made and stuff like that and letting them use it for free they're hoping that probably some other companies will do the same thing as well maybe they can add some things to their game that they weren't originally able to reproduce um, so this might make some huge like collaborative kind of thing within video game companies again I'm not really too sure what the effect of this is actually going to be my first thought was that like this was some kind of publicity stunt and while this could entirely be that I'm sure they kind of had that in the back of their mind considering that EA got a lot of good publicity from actually announcing this I'm always interested in looking at like EA stock price and how that is actually affected by these different announcements and when this was was announced nothing really changed with EA stock price and there was nothing really in that sense that was gained from this announcement but I imagine that this is something that's going to really help them long term especially if these other companies start releasing their patented ideas to the world you know EA will probably just quickly snatch them and start implementing them in their game and while this is definitely like a really cool idea and it's something that would really help just the video game genre in general I'm not sure if smaller game studios are going to be that quick just to release all of their ideas considering that EA is a massive company they don't really have a ton to lose by releasing this um, but that's just my two cents definitely let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments I'm sure we'll be seeing more and more information from other companies talking about whether they're actually going to participate in this or not uh, so I'll keep you guys updated if I do hear anything about that so the last thing we're gonna talk about really has nothing to do with Apex Legends but this is definitely interesting and it's something that I did want to talk about so this is coming from China who has actually placed more restrictions on the amount of time that anyone under the age of 18 can actually play video games so I didn't actually know that this existed, but apparently in 2019, China had first, you know, started this initiative to stop younger people from playing games as often. Originally, they had put in a rule that anyone who was under the age of 18 was limited to no more than 90 minutes of gaming on weekdays and only three hours a day on the weekends. And apparently the reason that they did this in the first place was because they saw a rise of video game addiction, especially with people who are, you know, under the age of 18. They basically explained that like young kids who were playing video games a ton were doing worse in school. They were also like not as physically healthy as other people who didn't play video games as often. Well, as of today, they actually made new restrictions on how long you can actually play video games if you're under the age of 18. Now you are no longer going to be able to play any online video game on the weekdays, which is kind of crazy. The only time you'll be allowed to play online video games is on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, and you only get one hour every every single day. So I thought that was pretty crazy, man. I mean, I didn't even know that this rule was being enforced in the first place and I read a couple different articles actually on this issue and you know there were some that were saying that people in China were actually you know very happy with this change there was also obviously a lot of people who thought it was kind of absurd to limit video games you know this much now apparently they can only really regulate this with online games they're making a lot of video game companies in China like shut down servers during the week um, I don't think there's really any way to regulate the amount of times you spend playing offline games so you know that's something that I guess people can still do and and while I understand that video game addiction is definitely a real thing, for a very small percentage of people, of course, like I remember growing up, like when League of Legends first became a thing, me and my friends basically threw away our social lives and just played that game all day, every day. But a lot of my friends who still played video games like a ton during the day, I mean, they turned out fine. They 
It definitely wasn't the healthiest thing in the moment, but you know, for us at least, it didn't really create any long-term problems. However, I do understand that for you know some small percentage of people, it could definitely hurt you. I mean, you can really be addicted to anything, so I understand that context of it, but banning video games for the entire week and eliminating only three hours on the weekends is kind of ridiculous in my opinion. Personally, I feel like it should come down on the parents to decide how long their kids should be playing video games. But again, that's just my opinion. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are down in the comments below and obviously this is nothing to do with apex but we're all gamers so i'm sure that a lot of you guys will have you know some kind of opinion on this issue but again thank you guys for watching today's video if you enjoyed make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys all in the next one peace